Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another three questions in three minutes with our real estate and development power players. Today, I am joined by David Sigman, an executive vice president and principal at Elcor Incorporated, which is a real estate investment management and development company that focuses on mixed use developments. David, thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks. Glad to be here. So I want to ask first about this term mixed use. Could you describe mm -hmm. what a mixed use space looks like and some of the benefits to having a mixed use development? Yeah, it's um, so I think we're all used to um, we, we build mostly apartment projects, rental apartment projects, and a, a building like that could have ground floor retail in it. So technically, that's mixed use. The issue becomes, well, what happens if it has ground floor retail and then the second floor is office? And now you have to figure out how to get different people to different places in the building. And do they have separate lobbies? Well, what happens if they're huge components of uh, you know, any of these uses? Or there's a hotel or there's senior housing. So as you start mixing these different pieces, the development issues get like disproportionately more complicated. And you have to start looking at how these groups interact, how do they park, what's the traffic, you know, and the building design or multiple buildings have to respond to that. It sounds almost like a puzzle, like you're trying to, you know, get everything in the right, get people where they need to go, get everything in the right spot. Um, and it seems like you have also a lot of experience, which I'm sure really helps. Uh, yeah. I know, yeah, I know one of the um, the biggest projects that you worked on was JFK. Um, right. so and you could talk a little bit more about that project. Yeah, I mean, that's probably the ultimate mixed use project because yeah. uh, it's got some retail. It's got, um, I forget how much was in that, almost 100,000 feet, I think, of retail and behind the scenes space for that use. And at the time we were involved. So we, we that process started in 1995 until we delivered the new building in, um, in the spring of 2001, right before 9-11. Uh, and uh, for us, it was a huge learning experience because it's really like a giant factory. There are six million people that go in and out of that place every year. Now, I think it's more than double that. And uh, so just processing that number of people and getting them through each step from the time they arrive at the curb till they check in, till they get through security, till they go shopping, till they get to the gate, all of that stuff has to be modeled and figured out and the building has to be sized for it. So it really is like, designing in this case a billion and a half dollar factory more than what we're used to in the um, world of designing you know apartments or office buildings and we had a big staff on site to manage it yeah i'm glad you had a big staff it sounds like that was an absolute behemoth of a project and you needed all the staff you could get yeah. um so are there any projects perhaps a little smaller than jfk that you're currently working on and that you're really excited to see completed yeah we've kind of branched out geographically so we have a, a project up in cambridge mass uh it's part of a large science um it's east cambridge it's called cambridge crossing Hoboken has been an effort of ours for years and years to develop a mixed use uh, residential office, redo the ferry terminal and um, redo the train terminal at Hoboken Station. And then we just moved into Miami. We were buying a site in Edgewater, Miami. And so we're learning that market and, um, you know, contractors and architects uh, and trying to take some of what we know in other markets and apply it to Miami, which is changing, you know, as everybody knows really dramatically and really quickly so you know that will be a challenge so our, our current book of business is really pretty interesting right now yeah it sounds like you guys have really expanded and branched out and hopefully taken some of the lessons that you've learned in new york and you're now able to kind of apply them in different projects around yes the yep. and we have um a lot of activities in or the philadelphia market in washington as well we have other partners besides myself that operate in those markets Awesome. Well, super exciting. Thank you so much, David, for joining. Yeah, thanks for having me on.